how to flirt, three proven flirting techniques men can't resist. So this video will expose three flirting strategies men can't resist. And truthfully, when you don't know these strategies, you're kind of flying blind and you're gonna end up turning the guy off. You're not gonna know why. And you're gonna kind of be confused about what happened. You know, things seem great and then they went wrong. Don't worry, I'm going to also expose my feminine polarity magnet. It's gonna be something that you are going to kind of unlock from within you and it's gonna be using your natural instincts and bringing out the fact that you already have what you need to seduce him, to make him feel like he's excited around you. So, hey, it's Erin, your personal love expert, back again on the channel where we make men make sense. Vixen Daily. Now, you guys have asked me to do a video like this so many times, so I decided to cave and give you what you want. So before we dive in, you got to give me what I want, which is a like, a thumbs up, share, subscribe, tell people all about it, everyone, you know, just spread the word. Flirting with a guy is not supposed to be something that's anxiety inducing. The fact that you're even anxious right now is such a very like sad, depressing, screwed up existence and I don't want you to suffer in this fate anymore. Flirting is fun, it's deliciously fun and it's even comedic at points. So the first strategy is a very direct one. It's a very, very powerful and forward flirting strategy. It's the kiss me now strategy. So what do you do? What's the kiss me now strategy? It's not a direct kiss me now, Benjamin. Who's Benjamin? Kiss me now. I'm just doing like these things to demonstrate what basically not to do. Don't be me. So I'm kidding guys. Sorry, I just have to bring some humor into this because I'm trying to show you that it's very easy. All you have to do, you don't have to do what I just did. Hey, kiss me now. Will you please kiss me now? Oh, I wish you would kiss me now. Kiss me now and then you make a move and just attack him. Is that what you do? No, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is send nonverbal cues that signal that you are interested. So it's a physical trigger that will end up being pushed in a male. It's a biological instinct. So when you do the look up type of like, like that shy smile, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but there's this like coy, shy smile, like a look up thing. So you can kind of look at him in the eyes and then keep his stare for you know a little longer, but obviously not like a crazy amount because then it just gets kind of weird, I feel. I mean, or not if you enjoy it. And then kind of look down like in this coy bashful way, but then kind of like, you know, put your hair behind your ear and then just go ah, and sigh or something. Like not like a inappropriate sigh, just a sigh of like, oh guys. You know, like that type of a sigh. Just trust me on this one. Just try it out. See how it works. Casual, subtle cues. Male biological instinct activated. He'll lean closer. You'll be more sighing and then the great kiss will happen. Now, the fact is you don't want to be over analytical here. The best relationship advice for women approaches dating and love from the perspective of freedom. You're free with your movements, your actions, your emotional energy. Everything you're doing is because you want to. It's natural instinct. You don't want him to kiss you, then don't try to make him kiss you. It's really simple. But if you're feeling it, then you know, let your body explore the kissing feelings, like the way you feel when you're with him. So you guys, I'm gonna do a little exercise before I get to number two, which is compliment him. But this is very important. So I want you to visualize this. You're with the guy that you really hit it off with. You guys are kind of tipsy. You had maybe a glass or two of wine, something, you know, tasteful and not too strong, but you're kind of open and you're talking and you're having a great time. It's perfect weather, it's like 70 degrees, no overheating or sweating or worrying about your makeup or you know, your hair is having a great day. You feel just so into him and then there's that like electricity and you're walking together and you want him to kiss you and you just keep thinking about it. Your body's like, ooh, like I can't wait and you're there, right? Those moments will happen and they'll be automatic. You'll end up being lost in the moment if you know that you have to be 
present. Don't rob yourself of a kiss that will be overwhelmingly just pure. And you can only let yourself have a pure kiss if you're not thinking about, oh my goodness, what's gonna happen? Do I have to use tongue now? No, I don't wanna use tongue. Wait, is he a good kisser? Wait, what does this mean? Just stop, stop thinking. The kissing is to shut you up and to shut him up. Just let it happen, natural. But never do something that you're not comfortable with and don't go out of your normal you self. So be you and go with your body. Your body is gonna send off cues to him. That's the moral of the story here. So the next thing to do for flirtatiousness to the maximum level is to compliment him. How though? Okay, so you have a specific way that you have to compliment him because when you compliment a man in a specific way, and it actually is genuine and you target what he's good at, you kind of stand out and make him want to be around you more. It's just a thing that men love. So what does it mean to admire his passion? All you're doing is you're making him feel confident, masculine, and highlighting what he's good at. Men are attracted to women that they feel like men around. So here's an example. I admire the passion you have for building houses from scratch. I admire how good you are with just running things and getting stuff done. I admire what a great professor you are. It really makes me feel warm inside when I see you lecturing and I see how you own the room, whatever it is, anything, whatever it is, admire him, highlight the masculine essence that he has, and he'll love you for it. So don't just think that this is something to take lightly because you have to really look at when a man is expressing what he's passionate about, right? So if he's talking about something he's passionate about, don't just dismiss it and say, ah, whatever, and talk about something else. Sit there and actually take one moment to just appreciate him and compliment him rather than just butting in immediately. A woman once said to me, my boyfriend said I don't talk to him in a way that makes him feel happy. And I said, well, when you take communication advice and take tips on how men think and how to communicate with men and all that crap, you're doing tactics if you're listening to all those other, not all the other gurus, but some gurus, not gonna really name names here, but a lot of so-called experts will give you these tactics, but they don't give you this one rule. Don't do anything that feels uncomfortable. It turns men off, the fake interest, the fake, oh yeah, I really care about your interest in cars. Oh my God, I'm gonna learn all about this football team too and wear a jersey. I don't really care about football, but I'm gonna pretend. It's so not attractive, it's so boring, it's so useless. Just don't do it. You don't like doing it anyway. Why would you want to do that? It's not fun. You don't wanna do that. Find commonalities, things he's passionate about that you're actually admiring. You don't have to like the actual thing. You don't have to like cars. You can admire how much work he puts into building them. Does that make sense? But never do what you're uncomfortable with, never lie. All you have to do is actually the opposite. So listen to this and never forget this. You don't have to do anything. Just listen, be a good listener and that will take you farther than any tactic you've ever learned. Now, I have to point something out here because there's one ultimate thing that determines if your love life is amazing and perfect or if there are problems and it's riddled with misery and disappointment. What's that thing? So what separates you from feeling a constant fear that you're losing him, he's losing interest, nothing makes sense, you're frustrated, broken, lonely. What's the one thing, the one thing that makes all the difference? Take a moment to guess. Guys, guess literally in the comments. So what's the one thing? It's perspective, P-R, I'm not gonna spell it out. It's perspective, guys. Okay, so perspective, perspective is what makes the difference, the right perspective. When you have the right perspective, everything makes perfect sense. You understand what's going on in his mind, sometimes even better than he does, which is a very powerful tool, I must tell you. And the best part is you see your love life clearly. You automatically know what to do in any situation. You just do the right thing and it's effortless and it's automatic. Your love life just plain works and you don't have to think about it. You don't have to worry about it. In fact, it all makes sense and you're happy with it. Now, maybe this is the first video you've ever watched by me or maybe you are a longtime viewer and you're already subscribed to the channel and watch all my videos, but I wanna point out that what I'm really showing you when you subscribe to the channel is the perspective what the perspective is that really makes your love life effortless, easy, and just plain work the way you've always wanted it to. So let's jump into number three, guys, with that mentality. Be feminine. 
That's the really powerful thing that I really want you to get. Men are naturally wired to be attracted to feminine women. Okay, being feminine does not mean you put on some kind of flower dress and change yourself. All it means is you embrace the girly parts of you that are actually there. If you have no girly parts, then don't embrace them, but don't try to kill those parts and be less girly and less of a woman because you think that being masculine and you know ball busting and bitchy is a great attractive trait. Society has brainwashed us to think that being tough and masculine and honestly plain rude and mean is some kind of a turn on. It's not. Men are not turned on by women that act rude and try to kind of go to the extreme with being super hyper masculine. If it's who you are, then fine, but you have to just embrace what you are. So what is within you? You have the feminine feminine woo-woo powers that you need. You literally do though, that's the thing. We're biologically wired. Our biology is working for us here. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to learn a you know, Kama Sutra thing that you have to do like a backflip for and all this crap, although backflips are a great thing to learn and I definitely think that they're fun to do. The best thing you can do when it comes to being feminine is look at your life, look at who you are, and try to be happy. Just be your best you. If you like being cynical, then great. Be cynical, be masculine. You know, Do what you want, but then embrace the womanly parts of you that you know are there. So take the time to write in the comments now. I order you to, I'm kidding, but this is my masculine energy. Guys, if you wanna have results, then write in the comments right now. What are you gonna embrace about your femininity? Is it your hair, is it your nails, is it your pleasantness or your, whatever it is, write it now in the comments and I have to break some bad news to you. You're actually making a mistake in your love life and you don't know it because your instincts are tricking you. Well, what if you had a personal love expert, wink, wink, at the exact moment you needed it? the exact moment. And this love expert could give you answers to any problem with men, anything, and save you from making the wrong move, breaking the relationship and breaking the situation that you're so desperate to keep. So we get so many comments these days now, and you know I try to reply to everyone and I still will, but I wanted to create a private group where you can get individual attention from me to help with whatever you're dealing with in your love life so you can get the love life you want. No confusion, no heartbreak, no heartache. Space is limited though. But if there's still space, you can connect with me in the insider group. It's vixeninsider.com. That's vixeninsider, vixeninsider.com. So I hope that you join me because I would love to give you all sorts of flirting tips, feedback on how to flirt with a specific guy, questions. I don't want you guys to do things that you don't feel are right because they're probably not right. Because as I said, your instincts are actually guiding you off a cliff and I wanna help you. So come to me, my beautiful, beautiful women out there or men, whoever's watching, but my beautiful women, I love you all and I thank you so much for watching and I really cannot wait to see you in the private insider group and I love you guys. Till next time.